Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis, and this is Should You Choose to Accept It, Part 4. Now, one thing to make note about this video, and finally with confirmation from previous weeks, if you get to the point in this quest where you have previous, like Part 3, Part 2, Part 1, and you're at the part where you need to run Operation Seraph Shield on Legend to find the schematic, and if you have multiple parts that look like this, you can do them all at the same run of Seraph Shield. So as I go through this, I'm gonna actually show you where each of the schematics are throughout the mission, so you can literally get all four in one run. Which means you don't have to run it multiple times. If you did in previous weeks like I did, that's fine, but for somebody who's really struggling with Legends, technically now at this point, you'll only have to find a group one time, so it will really benefit you to go find a group if you're struggling. But for this one, it's pretty simple. We're gonna run the Diocles Annex, download the Cryptographic Index. Once we're in there, I'll show you what the next step is and we'll go forward. Just wanted to let you guys know that one, I'm gonna show all four locations for the exo frames where you grab uh, basically the pattern for your refit catalysts. And then two, just so you're aware, you can get all four in one run. So here we go. So the first thing we're gonna do is head to the Diocles Annex. So if we go to the map, head down here to the bottom corner, we are gonna head to the Warmind Launch Facility and Operation Diocles. Could be pronouncing it wrong, so forgive me. All right, so once you have cleared out all of the enemies in Operation Diocles and you're down here in the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and download the cipher and we're figure gonna figure out which planet we're gonna go to. Looks like we are headed to the Cosmodrome, so I see you on the planet surface. All right, as usual, once we are on the Cosmodrome surface, we get the update where we have to decipher the passcode by doing patrols and defeating combatants. So I am gonna go run around and shoot some stuff. All right, so once you've gone through and done patrols, whichever ones you do and defeated, you know, combatants, each combatant's like 1% patrols. If somebody figures out the exact percentage of patrol is, toss that in the comments, because I always feel like I get weird information when I do mine. Next thing we're gonna do is the Exodus Garden 2A Lost Sector in the Cosmodrome, and we're gonna pick up the little bucket at the end. So what I did when I was clearing ads from the landing zone here in the steps, I came down here to the divide because Exodus Garden 2A is right down here. So I'm going to head in, clear it out, and I'll show you guys what happens next. All right, so we, when you finish up the Exodus Garden 2A Lost Sector and kill the boss in this big room of hanging trash, I'm not entirely sure. Back here, right by the exit door, you're going to find your little hockey um, cipher that you got to enter. When you do enter it, make sure you back up, because I killed myself the first time. And now we're going to head into Operation Seraph Shield. And just a reminder, as I head into Operation Seraph Shield, I'm going to point out all four locations. So if you've saved up any of them, you can pick up all four as you go through. And theoretically, if you hadn't done Legends Operation Seraph Shield yet, you can do all four in one run. You just have to have all of the quests to basically this step. So any of your quests, if you have them on step five of seven, where you recover the schematic, you can do part one, two, three, and four in one run. So let's jump in. I'll show you where they're at. All right, so the first exo frame for part one is going to be in the microwave room. So once you've actually deactivated everything by activating the three terminals, your first exo frame is going to be literally right over there just laying against the wall. So that is part one for the first catalyst. All right, so the second exo frame location is going to be in this room where you've got the uh, laser wall kind of just on the open door area. And you're going to go through this event to uh, kind of shoot the next operator buff. If you're looking for it, instead of just peeking over here for the operator, which I'll shoot this first, it's going to be tucked right over here. Like if this is your little kind of blocked off wall, it's going to be tucked right over here around the corner and your exo frame will be right down here. So that is for part two, catalyst number two. All right, so the third catalyst pattern location is gonna be right when you enter this room, before you start the boss fight, it's just easier to do it now so you don't forget. As soon as you walk in here, like where the rally flag is, just turn to your right and peek right back around here. And the exo frame is just gonna be laying right down here on the ground. So that'll be catalyst three for part three. All right, so once you surrender your weapons, you get transmatted onto the catch, and then you get your weapons back and kill the enemies in this first hallway. Basically, this is kind of the, where you enter this hallway with all the, you know, little frames that you've got to work with in your second doorway. So not this one specifically. It's the second one on your right-hand side. Should be targeted right here. This is the fourth of four, and this is where you're going to pick up your catalyst. So final frame, or final piece, is we're going to go finish the mission, destroy the boss, and you're going to be able to get this catalyst. And if you had picked up one, two, or three, you'll be able to get all four at the same time, depending on which ones you've stocked up. So let's finish this thing up. All right, once you have finished the mission, we're gonna go ahead and upload the virus. I'm gonna get my last catalyst, but depending on however many catalyst, you know, patterns you picked up along the way, you should get them all right here. And that should be everything for Revision Zero, probably everything for Operation Seraph Shield as well.
All right, let's get back to orbit and we'll wrap this video up. So that is basically it for likely anything you need to run an Operation Seraph Shield. That should be all the catalysts for uh, our wonderful Pulse Rifle Revision Zero. So you can go to the Enclave, craft them all, pick which one you want. For a PvE situation, uh, four times the charm is probably going to be my choice, mostly because you get the combination of Vorpal and four times the charm on the big shot. Theoretically, some nice little DPS if you can stock it up. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed these guides. If you did, drop a like below. Leave a comment if you got questions about anything. Otherwise, you can find me on Twitch and Twitter, Eddie Bontis, right here on YouTube. Please hit that subscribe button, hit the alert bell. If you're not subbed yet, lots more content coming to you, and we know Lightfall is going to be just so much to cover. So, look forward to seeing you all in a future video. Have a good one, and good luck.